This week on The American Athlete. I'm Derek Krause, driver the number 16, Napa Auto Parts Toyota Camry, and this is The American Athlete. I drive the number 16 Nap Auto Parts Toyota Camry from Bill McAnally Racing, and I'm starting eighth today at Sonoma. A big part of my career so far is the age. So, like, when I first started racing trucks, I was not supposed to be in a truck because I was only 12 years old, and I was racing a three-quarter mile. And actually, we were at a race in La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's Oktoberfest. It's a really big race that everyone goes to, and the trucks are there. And I was 12 at the time, and they weren't gonna let me race, but we just kinda went there. And so I was hiding in a lounge all the time, and then I went and got fast time. So then I had to go to an interview with the announcer, and then they, of course, they asked how old I was, and then they said 12, and it was, it was a really neat experience. And then just going up against other racers, I'm sure when we all strap our helmets on, and they'll look at me just as another driver, just like another person out there. And, I feel like you gotta give respect to earn the respect back that you want, so that's what I'm trying to do. My preparation for a race is usually I'll go on iRacing. If the track's on iRacing, I'll go and run some laps on there. And then during the winter and the off season, when it's kind of off season for me, there's a little bit of racing, but not as much as we do in the summer. Is I'm in wrestling, so another sport that they do, and that helps me keep in shape. And I also think that wrestling, you get a mindset in wrestling that if you're down by a few points at the end of the match, you can still win it. And I feel like that carries over into racing. If the car ain't very good and you're trying to chase someone down, you still got the mindset that you can chase them down and you don't give up on the car or give up on yourself. The learning curve is definitely where my dad comes in and helps me a lot with stuff. And then other teammates, like last year I had Chris Eggleston and Todd Gill, and they're both very experienced in the K&N series, so they helped me a lot in just learning the new tracks, where to lift and where to get back on the gas. The NASCAR Next program is gonna help me a lot just because it's helped other drivers like Ryan Blaney, Darrell Wallace Jr., and Chase Elliott to perform in the higher top three series of NASCAR. So once they got up there, they had a big fan base because people know their name just because of the NASCAR Next program. And this is my opportunity to follow in their footsteps and I want to take advantage of that. The physical aspect of NASCAR is definitely different because you can bump and bang in racing, but I feel like you gotta realize that they can do it back to you and sometimes you might deserve what they give back to you. So you gotta do it kind of cautiously and you gotta make sure you know who you're doing it to. It's really busy in there, especially at a track like Sonoma where you're downshifting, upshifting, and then you're hitting the brakes really hard in turn 11, turn four, and turn seven. It's just, there, you do a lot in the car that most people don't realize, and they just think it's a left turn, left turn, left turn, and it's, it's definitely different than that. It's, it's really fun. I feel like it. I just like the challenge of it. I just want to keep progressing off the ranks in NASCAR. I, I really look up to William Byron, and I really look up to him and what he's done in NASCAR. I mean, he's won a championship in the Xfinity Series, and he's a really good driver, and I get to actually race against him this weekend at Sonoma. The long-term goal and dream is to be up in the highest level on NASCAR and Monster Energy Cup Series, but right now I gotta focus race by race, because right now I'm really not old enough to do any of the truck series or run the full schedule of the truck series, so I'm really looking at it right now as race by race and weekend by weekend, just keep digging and do the best that I can, and that's all I can ask for. All this and more coming up on The American Athlete.